bit, um, I believe it was last week in your book about different types of lenses. We're going to go back to that real quick. And we're going to talk about different focal lengths. So uh, for the most part, there's about four different types of lenses. Uh, we have wide lenses, which are usually about 7 millimeter to 28 millimeters. Um, they show a wide range of view. <laughs> now the issue with that is that they do distort objects that are close up. And you've, you'll be familiar with this by the fish eye type of lenses, right? Okay, normal lenses are called normal lenses, and those are 35 to 55 millimeter because they replicate pretty much what our own eyesight looks like. Portrait lenses, um, you know, you could take a portrait with any lens, but most portrait photographers prefer lenses that are about 70 millimeters to 300 millimeters because they are more flattering for the face and it is easier to leave out the distracting backgrounds. Plus, you're not going to be right in their face when you're taking the photo, so it's more comfortable for your subject. Telephoto lenses can be usually around 200 to 800 millimeters, but sometimes longer. And they're great for getting closer when you really can't get closer, when your feet can't get you any closer for things that are far away, um, even for like taking pictures of bugs, because if you get too close, you're going to scare them away. Um, so let's look at uh, this graphic down here that kind of shows what I'm talking about. So this first one is a wider lens and you can see that pulled back a little bit we do have a distortion of what's happening with these buildings. There's this very crazy angle happening here and if you get close to your subject her face <laughs> isn't um, as flattering as it could be. It distorts her. And here's a view of how close the photographer actually had to be to fill up her face in the frame. Okay, so that's why wide-angle lenses can be um, harder to, for, to take photos of people because you're up in their face. Now, unfortunately, most of our phones have a wider-angle lens. And um, we have become kings and queens of selfies, and we've figured out the different angles to still make our face look somewhat flattering but we don't have that really nice portraiture look because it's such a wide angle lens. So coming down here we have 35 millimeter and 50 millimeter lenses and uh, you don't have to be as close to fill the frame but you're still pretty close to the person. Okay and you can see you can see even just the change from 35 to 50 on the distortion that's happening with her face. Uh, we go to more of that fisheye look to not as much of a fisheye look. Now we move down here to 85 millimeter. You can see that we're starting to get a little bit more pleasing look for her face. And with the 200, even more so, this is more what we're expecting when we hire a professional photographer to take our photo. And you can see here that she is a lot further away from her subject now. She doesn't have to be straight up in there, um, what I call looking up your nose. <laughs> could be really weird for someone because they're like, wow, you're, you're way too close to me uh, with the wide angle lenses. So this can be a lot more comfortable for your subject when you're taking a portraiture. Now looking at different lenses, uh, this doesn't completely give you the effect of different lenses because this is really just cropping the photo smaller and smaller, but it's still a good representation because if you were standing in the exact same place but you had all of these different options for lenses you can see that for 35 millimeter you only capture part of the scene but for a really wide lens like 18 you would capture way more of the scene while 100 millimeters you're even getting a smaller section of the scene and if we come down here here's another example angle of view but this is actually using different lenses and you could see that the effects that they do a little bit more. So here's more of that fisheye look, 7.5 millimeter. And you're getting all of the city. They're even getting part of the building that they're standing from right over here. Okay. Now I'm going to point out to you that this is taken in uh, Sydney, Australia. And this is their famous opera house, part of their famous opera house here. And in this picture, you can't even see it. It is way back there. And in fact, I don't think I could even 
really point it out to you until this one, 35 millimeter, is right back here, is that opera house. So as you can see, the angle of view is really wide in all of these, and you're getting everything, the freeways, all the buildings in front, behind, the clouds. But as you move up um, from in millimeters, your angle of view is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and you're cutting out more and more stuff. And now up here, you can, I mean, <laughs> it's hard to see it, but let's see. Here's the opera house here. And you can tell that this is a huge amount of space going from here to there. But if you remember, telephoto lenses optically compress space and make buildings seem a lot closer than they are. So whereas in these photos, um, you know, these buildings back here, in comparison to the opera house, we know they're probably, you know, half a mile, quarter mile, mile away. But as we get to this 800 millimeter, the distance between them doesn't seem as big anymore. And that's what I mean by opti optically compressing space.